it seems like every night, like you've got a script and you've got your, your cues and your choreography and you just go out there and you're supposed to perform, but you're not a robot, obviously. We know that we see you're a human, but when we talk about delivering social justice from the stage, how do you do that when your, your lines are scripted for you, your cues are made for you, your choreography is set? How are you delivering social justice from the stage when as an actor, you know, yes, you're embodying some of these things, but a lot of it's written for you. How, how are you delivering that message? That's a really great question. Um, a couple of ways. Um, a couple of ways is showing up 100% or whatever your 100% is that day, showing up as much as you can when you're performing because you just never know, I just never know when there is a little black boy in the audience who is a little unsure if he has a spot um, on in musical theater and if I half-ass it and don't give it my all, that can make or break his decision. Yeah, but if he sees that light, if he sees a presence on that stage and sees people who look like him, who are thriving, that could inspire him to do the same. It doesn't even have to be musical theater. It could just be saying yes to something, um, really putting it, putting his all into a project that could, you know, change the rest of his life. Um, and then I can't um, lie and say that social media is not a very powerful tool, especially when it comes to the theater world and the industry and being a part of one of the biggest shows in the universe. Um, so your followship is very um, important and making sure what you put out into the world virtually and on your social media that it is um, intentional and that it is um, aligning with your core values. So with mine, it's positivity, it's outreach, it's supporting initiatives like Bloom here um, and sharing their stories. And it's also um, making sure that I have no unread messages from those young artists who have those questions about college, about I don't feel good enough for this. I have to, it is my duty to social justice to reply and let them know that they can. Yeah, it is so important. And I think Bloom here is doing the same thing for these women who, who are feeling less than or like others, they have provided space. So um, I hold space, yeah. Um, very cool. Question from the audience. Uh, aside from what role you would like to play, we got some great answers there. And I can't wait to see you as Simba in The Lion King when Broadway is back, baby. Um, what's your favorite musical in general and, and why? Oh, that's a very good question. <laughs> this is funny. Um, I was obsessed and pretty much still am. They made a musical out of the Bring It On movie. Um mm. And it was with Kirsten Dunst and yep. uh, it was, oh yeah, everyone has seen, I hopefully you've seen Bring It On, the, the movie, Gabriel Union, everyone. Um, for, the, for those who don't know, that's Lin-Manuel was uh, did yeah. music for that one too. So it's like, even before he was known, if you go back, you could see sort of the roots of Hamilton in some yeah. of those shows. So yeah. You really are a musical theater nerd. Hey man, I wasn't, you look, you thought that I was just brought in and I was like, oh yeah, I'll pretend like I'm a musical theater guy. No, man, I am all in, baby. I'm you, a big fan. Uh, we could be here all night. This is great. We might. <laughs> um, I was obsessed with it. And yes, that was right way before like, Lynn was this big, huge thing way before Hamilton existed. I was listening to the musical all the time in college and I wanted to be in it so bad. Um, I actually went out to audition for the casting director who was um, casting Bring It On um, right when I graduated from um, Western. Um, and I was like, I, I'm gonna go in for this casting director. She's also casting Mamma Mia, but I'm not right for that show. What's Mamma Mia, who cares? I'm gonna be in Bring It On, of course. The weekend of auditioning for her, I, I'm on my way back to this gig that I was doing, and I get a call that I was gonna be in the the new tour of Mamma Mia, and not bring it on. And I was like, damn it! But I was like very happy to be a part of a show and to be working so early on in my like life post college. But my favorite musical, Bring It On. It's so fun. If you don't, if you have the chance to listen to it, 
friends, I would totally recommend it. Especially if you're into Hamilton, you will, Hayes is totally right. You can see, you can hear notes and tones and rhythmic patterns that are embedded into Hamilton. So people think Hamilton, like, no, like he, they, he has been experimenting with that stuff since Bring It On. You'll totally hear some of the parallels. Go for go, it. Go uh, and throw In the Heights in there too. It's another one that like, I might not have opened my mind to if I didn't know Hamilton was awesome. But then <laughs> once you, like working back to the roots of Lin-Manuel is, is, is great. So uh, no, you're, you're spot on on that. 